Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the switch and case. Now, this is very exciting. And switch and case is a control flow. It abstracts out the if statements, uh, right? So if we want to branch out our code, we could have say, for instance, if users clicked open, then do this, else do this. Then if users, else if, if user did this, then we want this to happen. So you notice that as we have all these commands that we need to put together, branch out our code or branch out our logic or things that need to be done, we may end up having a very long if statement. And it's very hard to maintain and figure out, you know, where the bugs are and what's going on. Okay, so that's the reason why the switch case is really the best. So let's go ahead and take a look. So what that means is the following. I'm going to go ahead. And, so here I'm going to go ahead and say, switch case okay so the first thing we need to do is for the switch statement switch case statement we need to have some sort of the expression which we are evaluating meaning for instance I could go ahead and say var and I'm gonna say age and I'm gonna give it a default age of 18 All right depending on the age of a user in this case and I want to display or let them know that they can do certain things I could have said if age is equal to 19 then print you are old enough to buy cigarettes I think this is how you cigarettes is that how you spell cigarettes doesn't matter okay of course, that's probably depends on which state you live in and so forth. But you get the idea. And then I'm going to say else if age is equal to 17, then print. Nope, you can't buy that. OK, and else if age is equal to 14 and I can keep going up forever okay now this works of course but it's not very maintainable like I said so the best way to do this is to actually use the switch case now we have here what we are basing off our switch case so now we can go say switch look at that and then we pass here the expression which is the age in this case right okay so now I'm gonna go ahead inside of here I'm gonna have for instance case where age is is 19 I say colon and then I'm gonna say break if that's the case I want to break out of this statement because I'm done in other cases say case like that and then say case 20 and say print still good say break okay would be safe case 89 print too old you see you get the idea here so this is just an example this could have been for instance a command if you're building a game or it could have been a name or it could have been whatever else whatever that we're trying to evaluate and depending on which case that we are fetching we do certain things right so this is print old enough we break and it's case is 20 still and go and we can add as many as we want so you can see now it's easier for us to go say okay if I'm debugging this I know okay and this is the case 19 so I can do anything that a 19 year old can do now the other thing that is really awesome is that in whenever you're using switch case it's very important for you to have a default okay what is a default it's just a statement that in case there we go in case of none of these options here are selected or running the default is also going to be I can say print oh forgot the break okay so I'm gonna say print default and I can add just go say age something like this Okay, so if you go ahead and run, it says default 18. 
Okay. I keep at it. I know this may not seem very glorious or glamorous, but it is very exciting, nevertheless, uh, because we are learning here and we are moving through and getting things done. I hope you are still excited because I am very excited. What's there not to be excited about? <laughs> this is really fun. All right, perfect. So good job, and I'll see you next time.